All right, so this time let's talk about the IEIs, otherwise known as the, uh, well, they're INFPs in Socionics. They are the INFJs and in MBTI. This is that much revered, talked about type that apparently everyone wants to be because it's so mysterious and awesome. All right, so IEIs. IEIs are led by NI, so dominated by this introverted intuition where they kind of just are looking at fl flashes. Um, sometimes it could be visual or it could be a way of just knowing what the right thing is going to be. What is the direction they want to go in in life? What's the right direction for society to go in? Where people have come from, people are going. It's almost like imagining historical context. This is where all life was. This is where societies used to do things. This is where things seem to be going. Um, it's very NI-ish kind of things. Now with them, they have their NI tied to FE, their FE valuing as their secondary. So a lot of where they're envisioning things are going is often more about societal things. Where is society going? Where has society been? What are the roles people are playing? Kind of in an archetype-like sense, in a very symbolic sense. Where are things going? Who are Who is this person meant to be within society? Who am I supposed to be within society? Things like that. They're looking at it from this kind of perspective. FE is their auxiliary, their secondary, creative, all these fancy terms, right? But they also have FE as a demonstrative, I mean, I'm sorry, FI as a demonstrative function. So you have FE and FI up front. So they're overall just good at all the feeling stuff. They're good at understanding other people, usually pretty well, figuring what they're about, figuring out who's close to them, who they care about, and, and who is going to be relevant in their life journey, in their life story, um, who should be on the path of their life that they're going on and who doesn't belong there. Um, because of the FE, they can be very well put together. These are people that fit in well in almost any environment and room. They know how to, how to smile, be polite, work the room, dress acceptably well. Um, they can emote well from time to time when they need to. Um, so they get along well, they have enough of that sort of charm. They can even almost seem a little bit like the so-called SJs because they can get along with just your normal conservative environment, whatever the environment is. Um, because they have NI though, NI tends to be something that's more abstract in your head introverted function right it's not just introverted but it's also thinking so it's like double introversion you have going on here they are usually a type that does actually behave introverted in the classic sense of the word they're usually one of those people that tends to be a little bit more quiet a little bit more subdued if there's other people in the room that are energetic that are more assertive that are more active and so on the ie ieis tend to kind of hang back just kind of hang in the peripheries more, be a little more of that supporting character and sort of just observe people and add a little bit here and there, but they let everyone else kind of like lead the room and lead the charge on things. Um, they have TI as a mobilizing function. This is the sixth position in socionics. So as they develop and time goes by, they try constructing theories they try constructing a framework on how the world is, how things work, how the things should work. And they use that to also support their path forward, their NI vision of where things should go. I'll leave the other part till later, but they're usually doing that. So they try to create some kind of a structure. Now, they then are left with SE as a suggestive function. So they're not very good at it, but they want to be good at it. They value SE. But they also realize, you know, I'm not that good at it. And it would be nice if I could be a little bit more forceful, if I could have a, just more energy to get up and really go after the things that I want and believe in and really push forward 
my agenda, my viewpoint on what should happen. So a lot of your IEIs are often good at, at coming up with books, writing ideas, writing down their theories, writing concepts down, rather than being somebody who wants to be upfront leading people, who wants to be pushing people to go get something done. Um, again, they're usually not as quick and assertive in conversation. So there's usually a lot of other types that have higher SE and so on that's just talking faster, moving faster, talking over them, you know, this and that. And the IEIs just kind of hang back. Um, but the IEIs, again, they value that SE. They kind of wish they could have a little bit more of it. Um, along with it, a little more grounding on real world stuff, sensory things going on in their environment and get out of their head. They're too busy thinking about things in these abstract kind of ways instead of being present in the real world and what's going on. This is why they tend to like SLEs or at least SLEs are their duels um, because SLEs lead with SE. So that's SE in the suggested. Um, this then leaves, um, let me see, what do we have here? What are, mm, well, let's go to ignoring functions. So with the ignoring, they have uh, NE. So their value NI, that's their dominant function. So NE is something that they're ignoring. So they're not always so keen on looking around at other concepts and other things out there. They're much more focused on their idea, their, their abstract concepts on what they want to see happen in the world, what they want to see happen for themselves, where they think things are going, or just their own impressions on it. And they're not always kind of looking around at where everything else, at other concepts of where things might be going, other visions of what might happen. Um, to them, it's like if it's not really that relevant to their personal view, they're not always great with that. They're not always open to it. They can sometimes be, be very stubborn in that they have their own views on things. This is how I see things going. This is where I think it matters and is significant. And that's kind of it. And if you don't agree, or if you think differently, then I'm just, you know, that's your prerogative. I'm not interested. I don't think that's where, whatever. You do your thing, you go that way. Um, so that can make them seem kind of stubborn in that sense. Um, Again, sensory stuff overall is low. SI, again, is weak. So they're another type that they don't value SI. They don't really care about it. Um, so they also can have a hard time taking care of themselves, minding day-to-day -day tasks, what needs to get done, um, feeding yourself, sleeping right, taking care of yourself. They're not always so good with some of these things. Um, Again, it's this whole like up in the clouds, very just abstract stuff all the time. Very NI thinking, thinking and feeling, thinking and feeling. Um, so then we get to their polar function, their vulnerable function, TE. TE is about practical application of things. It's about learning how things actually work in the real world and how you implement them and make them happen. Okay, useful knowledge, not theoretical knowledge, useful, applicable stuff. This is how it works. This is the facts that show that, that this works and that doesn't. These are the data, the statistics, the techniques, et cetera. All that stuff ties into TE. This is their polar. They don't pay attention to these things. So a lot of times your, your IEIs um, really don't know how things work in a technical sense. This is how it's actually done. This is the data to show what is working. What's the latest news on what is actually useful and working and what's not. Because of this, the IEIs typically have their views, their, their intuition on where they want to go with things, where they think things are going. And a lot of times it can seem completely 
stupid, just bullshit ideas in their head that they believe that they romanticize of it. They're very beta quadra. So there's a romanticization of an, an ideology of this is what I think matters and where I think things are going. Irrelevant, okay, despite the data, whether the data supports my view or it doesn't support my view, it doesn't matter. They probably haven't even looked into it or they've looked barely into it. They don't really care. This is, again, another reason they're very stubborn, because you can give them information, the latest info or statistics, or you can tell them, uh, hey, this has been proven to not work, and they just don't want to hear it. They're like, ah, whatever, I don't, I don't care. This is my vision. This is what I care about. This is what I idealize, think matters, and I'm going for it. I don't care. I, I, whatever. Yeah, whatever you have to say. They can often be a little slow at updating new information. So maybe in person, in conversation, you're talking to them and you're telling them something new that they're not used to. And now they have to absorb that information and they can be kind of slow about it. They can be kind of like, wait, wait, wait huh? Eh? You know, and, and they need time to process that. They need time to kind of like work that. Um, this combination of TE vulnerable with the low sensing is one of the reasons why this type, probably more than any other type, is um, extremely abstract, very ideological. Uh, they're often given that name as being mystical and so forth. And the reason really it's mystical, it's not mystical at all. It's just that they have these concepts and ideas that they believe in and they really believe in them. And they think the more they believe in them, the more they stick to their beliefs and the more likely their beliefs will actually happen. They really don't buy into that, but it looks mystical because they have an incredibly hard time explaining themselves. They have a very, very hard time articulating and putting their ideas into words, giving facts, giving data to explain what they think. Um, to support their ideas, they really they tend to be really really bad at that. Um, so they end up just kind of saying, "Well, it's what I I see and what I believe, and it's just hard to say, and you just don't get it because it's all in my head, and and it's it's this thing in my head and vision, and you just don't get it, you know." And, and so they leave it at that, like like it's some vision that the rest of some they're a prophet, and the rest of us can't possibly understand them. Um, so they do, they, they tend to operate a lot that way. And again, that's, that's the reason why they are sometimes described, oh, these visionaries and so forth. It's not a vision. They, they just can't articulate what the hell they're intending to do. Their, their ideas very well, especially in the moment, especially when you put the spotlight on them, when you are focused your attention on them and you're asking them direct questions and you want answers back in the moment, they're usually really horrible. That's where they all clam up and they're, you know, um, they can be better when they have time to think. They usually need time to think. They usually prefer to sit back and write their ideas out with time, no pressure, just write it out. This is what I'm thinking. This is where I'm going. This is what I'm trying to do. They're terrible on the spot. That's the suggestive weak SE and a really bad TE as well. Uh, normally TE people are very articulate. They, they, speak quickly they give you a lot of detail and points to validate why they think what they think so naturally somebody who is vulnerable with te is the opposite they say something but they have a horrible time articulating why giving you data to justify that to support that letting you know all the facts and the relevant information to support that they're terrible at that um As an LI person myself, I usually find that IEIs are a type that is very annoying um, to deal with because of that horrible TE, because of that inability to articulate themselves, that they, they need a lot of time to try to explain themselves, or that they're a type that can be very ideological, have this idea that they believe in, have these concepts that they believe in. And the concepts are total shit. It's absolute garbage. Anybody who knows any facts and, and relevant data out there realizes that all it's bullshit. Um, but it doesn't matter. The IEI will believe it anyway. They, they're just not going to take in your facts. They're going to stick to their guns. 
Um, there's a lot of philosophers that do this, uh, that can be IEIs. Um, uh, well, I won't go there, but you have some other types that, um, again, that will preach certain economics, politics, concepts, and it's very romanticized, ideological, that they swear that's where things are going, completely devoid of real facts or evidence to, to prove any of that stuff, right? So, mm, yeah, kind of beat that dead horse there. Um, again, very romanticized, they're beta quadra values. So there's ideology in beta, there's romanticism in beta, there's a desire for society issues, paying a lot of attention to how society can be different, how we could take it in the right direction. Um, what interesting concepts can we go for society to be better, right? Where's the politics of things headed? They tend to be interested in all these kinds of things, which is very beta stuff, um, beta stuff in general. Um, yeah, that pretty much covers with the the IEIs. So uh, kind of an important type to talk about because again, in from MBTI world, IEIs, which are the INFJs in MBTI are considered like the ideal perfect type that everybody wants to be. Um, I think when you see IEIs in Socionics, you kind of notice that it's it's not a type to romanticize about. You don't want to be an IEI. I don't think even an IEI would tell you you want to be an IEI. Um, again, they can be very nice, very polite, very ideational, and that can be kind of nice. Um, they can work towards making society better or whatever they think is better. Um, so some of their nice traits. Uh, and sometimes a very moody type as well, very moody. Um, yeah, so okay, I think that um, it covers them for the most part. Um, I'm sure there's more to talk about. This is a very popular type that everybody loves or loves to try to figure out. So there's probably more in there, uh, but hopefully I think I covered most of this stuff. So let me know what you think as always. Um, like and subscribe and, and leave your comments. This is going to be probably a very dangerous one to be leaving comments on, but whatever. I'm always up for it.